Hey guys, my name is Logan with Preferred Barrels, and in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to install a fixed shoulder prefit onto your actions. All right, guys, so for this example, I am going to install a Tika T3X prefit barrel. This is our fixed shoulder option. We do also offer a variable shoulder option, meaning that there is a barrel nut. Now, for this example, this is a Tika, but a fixed shoulder barrel install is the same for all types of fixed shoulder installs, meaning that if you have a Bighorn Origin or an American Rifle Company or a Kelbley Atlas, all of those are going to install the exact same way that we would install this Tika. Some of the tools that we're going to be using are the Short Action Customs Barrel Vise, as well as the Short Action Customs Modular Barrel Wrench, meaning that we can get the correct lug raceway contact on our wrench. One suggestion we got from Short Action Customs when we picked up this vise was to use drywallers tape and to wrap the barrel to help protect it while it's being clamped in the vise and then torque is applied. In my experience, this will protect all types of finishes from Cerakote to bluing on chromoly barrels, bead blasted or polished stainless, and it will not harm the laser engravings either. So add a little bit of drywallers tape, flip the vise over, also, we are using the correct insert on this vise now that it has a hold of the barrel. This one just uses one Allen wrench. If you're using a two nut style, be sure to keep the torque even as you work your way down. You always want to make sure that you have plenty of torque holding onto the barrel so that it does not rotate when you go to torque the action onto the barrel. That is the only time I've seen it harm finish is if the barrel actually rotates while it is clamped. It's more likely to harm the finish on your barrel. We have our Tika T3X action here. We do not have the bolt in it currently, but we're going to put it in in a minute when we check headspace. Now, as you first install your barrel onto the threads of your prefit, if for any reason it does not freely spin on very easily, stop and contact us. We're more than happy to help you out. We do not want you to gall the threads on your action, and we do not want to harm the barrel if we don't have to. Now on a fixed shoulder prefit, the headspace is set from our factory, so we're relying on the tight tolerances of the action, which is why we can't offer a fixed shoulder barrel on all types of actions. Go ahead and grab our action wrench here. Um, I do highly recommend that you get the correct action wrench for your action for the best results. You don't want to damage the raceways inside your action, and you don't want to apply torque in the wrong area of your action. That can tweak it and cause issues down the road. Go ahead and grab our torque wrench. Now our torque recommendations on our prefit barrels, we recommend that you follow the manufacturer's specifications. Meaning if you have a Bighorn action, follow what Bighorn suggests on their torque specifications. For a Tika action where there's not really a action manufacturer's specification, somewhere around 70 foot pounds is going to be a safe option. Now that I have my torque wrench set, go ahead and slip that onto this. Now at this point, let's remove the action wrench and we're going to double check our headspace with a go and a no-go gauge. Be sure to check our web store for headspace gauge availability and see if we have the gauge for the cartridge that you've selected. So this is a 22 Creedmoor on our Tika action. All the Creedmoor variants actually use the same headspace gauge. So a 6.5 Creedmoor gauge will be the correct gauge to use with this 22 Creedmoor. Go gauge goes no problem, bolt easily closes. You do not want to drop this onto a hard surface, so be careful when extracting. There we go. Now let's verify with a no-go gauge, with the red line, that this will not close on the no-go gauge. So as you can see, the bolt will partially start to cam, and it stops. It hits a wall, I could not force this if I wanted to, that is what you are looking for. Well, all right guys, that's all that goes into installing a fixed shoulder prefit. It's pretty straightforward. You get your action torqued onto the barrel, you double check it with your headspace gauges, you run a patch through your bore, and you're ready to hit the range. Be sure to drop any questions you have in the comments below, or go ahead and send us an email, preferredbarrels at gmail.com. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. I hope it helped and answered all your questions, and we will see you guys in the next one.